Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're we'll doing a trying new makeup, which I haven't been doing a ton lately. I feel like we had a surge of products before Black Friday and then we've kind of settled down, but I do have some new products that I wanna demo on camera. Some I have not tried at all. Some I have tried a little bit off camera, but I haven't demoed it for you guys. So I have the new Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. This is new to me, but it's like a hydrating primer. I also have the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. This was their holiday palette or one of their holiday palettes, so I thought we could play around with that. Also, I really wanted to demo the products from Vive. Vive is Jamie Genevieve's brand, if you haven't heard. She's gorgeous. So I did wear this in a previous video, a Sephora haul, and I cannot believe the compliments I got about just my makeup looking crazy good, and it was these products. So I thought I would demo them. She has a very grungy, glam kind of aesthetic. So we have an eyeshadow palette, highlighter, lipsticks, lip liner. So I I thought we would just do a look with all of that. I also have the new Lancome Mascara, brand new, so I thought we would demo that. I also have some new brow products that I am loving, and I'm gonna demo them for you guys. This is from a new brand called Refi Beauty. This is a model on Instagram named Jess Hunt. This is her beauty brand. She has insanely bushy brows, like, Probably the most bushy brows I've ever seen, but she's insanely gorgeous. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed, so I thought I would demo these for you. And then I have a bunch of products from Haley's Beauty. You guys have seen me demo the powder before, as well as the sponge and the primer. This primer is called the Refine Prime. This is actually gonna make it into the best of for me this year. I'm almost like halfway, if not almost out of this. Definitely repurchasing, such a good price. It's the best smoothing primer that I found recently. And then I also wanted to demo their liquid foundation. They have quite a few, but this is the matte one, which is my favorite, and then their sponge. So as you can see, I have a bunch of new products. We're just gonna play around as we usually do. I'm gonna zoom in, show you the texture, the swatches of products. You can see how they apply. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stay a while. Hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram. I will link it all down below, and let's go ahead and begin. So I went ahead and moisturized my skin, and I wanna go in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer. This is a really nice packaging. It's glass, it's heavy. This is essentially supposed to be a hydrate Hydrating kind of gel finish primer. I thought it was gonna have illuminating properties, but it doesn't seem to have that. It's just translucent, has a citrus scent, and that gel texture, but there's no illumination to it, no sparkle or glitter is what I mean. Feels nice and hydrating on the skin. Almost feels like skincare more so than a primer. So my first impression on that Smashbox primer is my skin feels soft and a little bit hydrated. It doesn't feel sticky and I don't see any noticeable glow. Just gave me a very subtle hydration, so we'll see how it sits under my foundation. But I'm gonna go in next with a pore primer just because I'd like to cover these up. This is from Haley's Beauty. I have been loving this, the Refine Prime. And it is such a nice, pore smoothing primer and it's so affordable. So I really just focus this in the center of my face. I feel like it's almost like Benefit Professional, but better. So now I'm gonna go into foundation and I'm gonna use a foundation I've never used on camera, but I've used it quite a bit off camera. This is from Haley's Beauty and I am partnering with them for this portion of the video to tell you about their five days of Christmas sale. So they have their top five best sellers, 50% off for five days only. This ends on the 18th of December. I'll have all the information down below. So this is called the Reset Matte Liquid Foundation. This is one of the products that's 50% off because it is a bestseller. I like matte foundations typically, so I'm not surprised that this is my favorite from Haley's. This this is a medium to full coverage so you can build it, but it lasts all day. It's not overly drying or overly matte. I have to have a foundation that's going to lock down and last all day while looking nice and smooth. And I like to add setting sprays and primers to make it more glowy. That's just my personal preference. So today I think I'm gonna use the shade 3.25. I also have 2.25, which is for when I don't have a tan. 3.25 is also neutral, so you can go on their website and check it out. They have neutral, warm, so you can kind of find your undertone. I'm also gonna be using their Remix Complexion Sponge, which again is gonna be 50% off, which is a great deal. Retail on this is 10 bucks. It's gonna be on sale for five. It's very, very soft. So this is nice if you want to blend out your foundation fast, you prefer a sponge because it's quite large and it gives you kind of that airbrush look. So as you can see right away, the coverage is great, which I like. I have some acne scarring, so I prefer something that just off the bat is gonna give me coverage, but not look too heavy. Also wanted to mention that Haley's Beauty products are all cruelty-free, vegan, and fragrance-free, which I thought was great. A lot of companies, I feel like, just put so much fragrance 
in their products, specifically complexion products, and it can be quite irritating. So I like that they don't add fragrance. They just keep it simple and they have good prices and good quality products. This is what the foundation looks like. Obviously it's unset, but it has a great medium coverage, nice and smoothing. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slip right off, which I like and I prefer. I don't have a new concealer, so I'm gonna do that off camera and then we'll jump back in to set the face, start the brows and do the rest of the trying to make up. So now I'm gonna go in and set with the Retouch Setting Powder. I did try this in a video, as I said, a month or two ago. It may have even been three. I don't even have a concept of time, but I said I really liked it. I found it very smoothing and lightweight, which is what I look for and it didn't change the color of my concealer, like darken it or anything like that. I look for smoothing in powders, specifically loose powders. I need something that's really going to blur pores, specifically for me, but I know if you have fine lines or wrinkles, that's another thing that you'd like to blur. So I'm gonna take the sponge from Haley's and just dip into the cap here, and I'm going to sort of bake, but press it into my skin. So first you wanna make sure you get all of your creases out so that you're not setting creases. So I just grab the powder. I'm just going to stamp it right on the under eyes and then I'm going to pull it down. I pull it down because I have issues with pore specifically right in this area. Set all around my T-zone here and then I just set my entire face with what's left over. This retouch setting powder is another one of their best sellers, so of course 50% off, so I highly recommend. And I know the primer isn't 50% off, but it's like one of my favorite products from them, so I would throw that in your cart. I think it's $12, so super affordable as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press in this powder on the inner corner of my eye, and you can see how it just smoothed my skin out. I do love a good powder. I'm all about that powder. I cannot not set just because of the texture of my skin. So this is what my foundation looks like set, and I feel like it just looks nice and smooth, great even coverage, a great base to start a full glam look, and I know it's gonna hang on all day. So I'll leave all the information down below about their five days of Christmas sale and the 50% off of the five products. I will also link this because I love this so much, which is their Reset Primer. I actually am gonna go through this and buy another one. This is phenomenal. Their powder is so lightweight and smoothing, so if you have issues with dryness, I think you you would love this long wearing matte foundation and their sponges are incredible and they're going to be five bucks each so highly recommend i will link everything down below thank you to Haley's beauty for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's start on our brows okay so i want to start on the brows before we start on the eyes so i already did a line underneath i find that that works better for me before i do my concealer just so if i mess up the line i can just wipe it away redo it and i don't have to disrupt already set concealer so i did use the refi beauty brow pencil this is in Incredible. This is the most fine tip brow pencil I've ever used. She knocked it out of the park with this if you have thin brows or you want hair like strokes. So here it is next to the Benefit Precisely My Brow, which is a favorite of mine. It is a smidge smaller so it's become my new favorite. When I'm comparing them, it is such a small difference, but it makes a big difference when you're trying to do hair-like strokes with a pen. It has a spoolie on one side. I believe I have the medium shade, which is brown. I think there's three shades, and I'm sure she will expand. This, I've already repurchased, and I've repurchased the other one as well. So I wanna show you how I do my brows. So first, I'm gonna go in with my M Cosmetics. This is the Brow Cream in Brunette. This has been a favorite for a long time. I use this just to give me a little bit of color, more so than anything. So I did the bottom, and I'm just gonna run this through, brush my hairs up, but I really just want a little bit of pigment. So you can see that's already added some color. So just something like that. And then I'm gonna go in with this product, which is incredible. I, the only thing I can say is these don't have any like information on them, so hold please, let me get my phone out. Okay, so the technical name for this one is the Brow Pencil, and I have the shade Medium, it's $20. And then this is called the Brow Sculpt. It's $22, but it's sold out. You can get the set, which is what I got. So this is essentially going to give you that fluffy brow look, the really bushy brows. It's basically like the brow gels that you see that really stick your hairs down. So what's interesting about this is when you pull it out, it's just kind of a mascara wand. It has a white color to it, but on the brows, it doesn't translate like that. But what I didn't realize is that you can also pull this cap off and there's two different brushes that you can use, which I don't use, Jess does. I'm still playing around with it, but she uses them to really like set the brows down. I just use 
the component. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So I just pull this out. I need to pull my mirror closer. And I just really push my brow hairs up as much as I possibly can. And there is little pieces of white, but if you just go like that, they go away. So as you can see, my brows are much more lifted on this side than this side. So I just do the same thing. So you can see the white pigment, but then once you go through it with the spoolie in your fingers, that kind of dies down. So once I've done that, I take my brow pencil, you can use anything, and I just kind of push it down. So I'm really kind of locking it in so that those hairs will stick and just stay fluffy. So it looks crazy now, but we still have to fill in. If you want the fluffy brow look, I have to say I do really like the Got To Be gel, which is affordable, but if you want something that's like portable, if you're going somewhere to throw in your bag, this is incredible. This is the best I've tried. This feels a little bit more crunchy when it dries. This one feels a little bit softer, so it just kind of depends on your preference, but they both do the same thing. This is the best brow product that I've ever tried in terms of keeping your brows up and bushy. This is not technically a brow product. It's, you know, big and clunky, but it's more affordable. So it's really up to you, but I've already repurchased this because I love it. So to finish off my brows, I go in with the brow pencil, which again is very small, and I fill in any sparse areas, which is usually just the bottom of my brow. Fill in the tail and then the front of my brow right here. So I just basically draw hairs. That, and then I just take a spoolie. And that's basically it. It looks crazy right now because I don't have my other makeup on, but if you really are looking after getting those hair-like strokes and the big bushy look, I have to say she knocked it out of the park. I wasn't sure because you know what? Sometimes influencers have done kind of, I've seen it done where they do brands, they slap their name on it. You don't really know if they, put their heart and soul into it and really created something amazing. And I have to say kudos to Jess Hunt. This will give you as close of a look to her brows as you can get with products that I've personally tried and I feel like I've tried so much. So she really knocked it out of the park with these. I hope that they uh, eventually become available, you know, maybe at like Cult Beauty or Sephora or something like that. So they're more accessible to people, but they are super high quality and I think she knocked it out of the park with this. All right, so now I wanna move on to eyeshadow and I'm gonna go into the Vive palette. Now this is Jamie Genevieve's brand. If you don't know her, I'm kind of shocked. She's gorgeous, very grungy glam. And she came out with the makeup line. So this is what the palette looks like. It has that textured, kind of leather feel and then it has a little plate down here that says Vive. So inside you do get 10 shades, very neutral palette. You have those mustard tones. These pans are huge, which she said they were, but they really are huge. So if you're a makeup artist or you like to have one classic palette, this would be great for you. And then it has a mirror on the other side, which I like that it bends all the way back so I can just flip it, use it however I want. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do today. I think I wanna do just a really blown out grungy look. So I'm gonna go in first into this mustard yellow shade. So I have to say that I am highly impressed with this palette, specifically the mattes. Look at that pigmentation. Let me zoom you in. It's so hard to figure out where to zoom you guys into because I know some people were saying that it cuts off my face so they wanted me to zoom out a little bit. So just trying to figure out what's best. So I'm kind of placing this first and then I'm gonna start blending. So most of the pigment is on the outer corner, but I'm really gonna blow this all the way out. The mattes in this palette are just A1 quality. It's one of those palettes that's just super easy to use and blend. There is no patchiness, there is no lifting, there's no sticking. I think I've used this maybe six times at this point, so pretty confident in the fact that every time I've used it, it's just effortless and the colors are gorgeous. Now, I will talk about the shimmers, uh, which I haven't had as much experience with. They do feel a little bit flaky to me, but overall, I am so excited to see what she does with this brand. So very pleasantly surprised with this and the uh, Refi Beauty, two influencer brands that are really killing it. I just think a lot of people may not know about them because they're not available at Sephora or Ulta, which can make it hard 
for some people to get their hands on it. So you can see how pigmented that shade was and I didn't have to work hard, just keep fluffing it all over the eye and pulling it out. So now I'm gonna go into Delicious, which is a deep chocolate brown. I mean, the pigment is just insane when you pick it up, but there's not a ton of fallout. It's just interesting. So I'm just kind of placing this lower on the outer portion of my eye first, just to get the most pigment, and then we will blend. So once I've kind of set down that color, starting to buff in and out just to blend it out. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of buff and I'm just gonna use this to sort of mesh and deepen the eye a little bit so that everything just kind of blends into one. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit into Lava Rock right here, which is this deeper, more cool toned brown. Keeping this low and on the outer corner here. So I am gonna use some of the shimmers just because I haven't really gone into them enough to get my thoughts. So we have the shade Carrot here, and it's just a little bit flaky. And then we have the shade Glimmer, which is more smooth. So I'm sure you can tell the difference. Carrot is a little bit just flakier and more, I don't know, it's like glittery, a little bit more chunky. It's kind of got like glitter chunks. So these are a little bit different than your typical creamy high shine metallic. They almost have glitter, but they're a little bit flaky. So one thing I saw Jamie do was spray her brush with All Nighter from Urban Decay. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna pick up carrot and a little bit of glimmer and then spritz my brush. So I don't know if you can tell, but it just is chunky on the brush. So I went ahead and sprayed my brush and I'm going to start applying. Take a little bit more here. And I'm just gonna take my finger to kind of tap over to make sure that we don't have any chunkiness. I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the other side. Yeah, they're almost like translucent. Like they have that glittery shift, but they're not super pigmented in themselves. So they're like glitter toppers, sort of. It's hard to describe. So now I'm going to mix Good Night and Lava Rock and I really want to just deepen that outer corner, make sure everything looks nice and smooth. So right down here, just applying it, and then just taking that brush to really blend anything out. Okay, so now I'm trying to think, do I wanna do a wing? Do I wanna use the shadow? So I'm actually gonna use this tiny rougher brush, the 03, which is such, I mean, it's a unique brush to my collection because it's so tiny. I'm gonna go into the black shade Goodnight and just try to basically smoke on the lash line. So I'm just kind of using this to smoke out. So I'm actually gonna use this just random Okay, so I ended up doing wings. They're not perfect, but I'm gonna clean them up a little bit just with my concealer brush here. So next I wanna go into mascara before we apply lashes, start on the face, finish up the whole look. So this is the new Lash Idol Mascara from Lancome. I really like the packaging on this. So here's what the applicator looks like. It's curved with short bristles. I already curled my lashes, so we'll see what kind of length we get with this. So it has that kind of spiky feel, but it's not bad. Those typically give me the most length. And it's not a wet formula. It's more of a thicker formula. It's giving me nice length. I don't have much to work with, but. It's not goopy at all either, which is what I'm noticing. Like you don't have to wipe off any excess. It's not super volumizing, but I see the length. 
So that's what it looks like. I feel like it's more of a natural kind of mascara. More if you want like that length for every day and that lift. I don't know, we'll have to keep trying it. So I threw on some lashes in contour and I put on the Tarte Lily Pons collaboration. I will link them if they're still available, but I'm not sure. I just thought they would go well with this look because they're not super thick where I'm covering the look, but they're kind of like that outer lash. A lot of the times lately I've been cutting my lashes, so I'm only using like half of them or the outer portion. So I wanna go ahead and finish up my lower lash line and then start on my base. So I am gonna go into the black and that deep shade Lava Rock. I'm gonna mix them and use my refer brush really close to the lash line. I have to say this brush is really unique. I've had it for a while and I've only used it a couple times. All right, now I'm just gonna go into Delicious. I do get fallout with that black specifically, so I just wanna note that. And I'm gonna start smoking. This is a Wayne Goss number 20. And then just to tie in the kind of grungy look, I'm taking a little bit of that mustard shade with a little bit of buff and just applying that really low. Just so we kind of get that mustard grunge effect. And now I'm applying a little bit of Nabla's brown liner all in my waterline and then I'm gonna tight line. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to bronzing. So I contoured with my Dior Backstage Palette. I just love that. And I wanna go into this Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Sculpture from Hourglass. So in here you have four different shades. I'm gonna go into this to bronze. I do have to say, and I've seen it all over, I wish that Hourglass would be more inclusive and come out with different ranges and deeper tones. And I don't know why they don't do that. I definitely wish that they would listen to people asking for deeper shades. People usually go crazy over hourglass powders. Uh, I am not like a huge fan, I guess. Like I don't, I kind of just feel like they're good, but they're not my favorite. So for me, it's not something that I'm like crazy about, but I know a lot of people are. So I'm just using this to bronze up the skin. The brush I'm using is a Smashbox angled blush. This is a nice tone and it's uh, not super Pigmented meaning that it's not gonna grab. It's blending out nicely. Has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I am going to use the blush in here, which is kind of like a muted pink. So I feel like this looks okay. It looks a little heavy because it has kind of that sheen to it. It's not the most smoothing for my skin. I don't dislike it, but again, I don't go crazy over it. I know a lot of people love it, so it's just kind of your preference. So now we're gonna do highlighter. I'm gonna go into this Vive highlighter in Holy Chic. She has three different shades. I will say these are like a thick powder formula and they do have some glitter in them, so this isn't my favorite from her line. But I wanna try buffing it in this time and see if I can get it to really melt into the skin. I'm using a M-O-M-62. A lot of people were asking me about this brush when I used it before. This is from Yes Style, so it's a Korean brand. I'll try to link it if I can find it. And I'm gonna start applying, but then I'm really gonna do circular motions to try to buff in. So it's really pretty and high shine, but it just almost enhances texture. I don't know how to describe it. It's just not my favorite. And then for down my nose, I'm just gonna use my finger. My bulldog is living his best. He's snoring so loud. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this right in the inner corner. So to finish off, I'm going in with the Vive Lip Liner in the shade Bark. I love this formula. It's very nice. It's very comparable to Pat McGrath, in my opinion, and the colors are really nice and grungy. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. So 
So I filled in the corners as well. You can see it's very pigmented, very dark, but once you blend it with one of her lipsticks, it looks really nice. I'm actually gonna go into the shade 9Ts, which is the deeper shade. I'm gonna use this first. You can see how gray tone this is, which is really, really kind of grungy. So I just kind of use my finger to blend it. And then I'm gonna take the shade Vive, which is the lightest shade just right in the center here. And then again, just blending everything together. And then I am going to add a little bit of this gloss that I purchased from Artist Couture. It's in the shade Thirst Trap. Just feel like I want a little bit of a glossy look. So I'm only applying it in the center. And then again, just using my fingers. to blend it out. It's very pigmented, the Artist Couture ones are, so I don't wanna to use too much. All right guys, here's my finished makeup look using all new makeup, and I have mostly hits, a couple products that I'm not in love with, so let's go over them. Starting off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow. Honestly, it worked perfectly. It didn't disrupt my foundation. I feel like I look nice and healthy even with the matte products that I used. Nothing spectacular jumping out to me, but again, I'll have to keep using it. Nice packaging, pump, everything that I look for, but don't think that it's gonna become a favorite just because I didn't really notice that it did anything for my makeup. Obviously, I love the pore primer that I used. I mean, I've just done some damage on this and I will repurchase this, especially because it's 12 bucks, super affordable. So if you have pores like me, highly recommend the Haley's Beauty Refine Primer. Been loving the Haley's Beauty Matte Foundation, as I said, especially for filming days or days that I wanna get glam because I can get that full coverage and that long wear. I did use the Morphe Setting Spray to finish my makeup, as I always do. I use some sort of hydrating spray. So that makes me look a little bit more dewy, but I have that matte factor from this foundation that will last all day. Love 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 the sponge I love the black one and the pink ones so definitely hop on that for five bucks a piece during the sale love the powder you could see that it really smoothed my complexion that's what I use powders for I want lightweight but I want smoothing I don't want it to grab or to darken my foundation so highly recommend the Haley's Beauty as well the Vive palette I love the mattes the shimmers don't blow me away, but I'm willing to overlook it because the mattes are so pretty and so blendable. I can't wait to see what other color stories she comes out with. For me, when I think of Jamie, I do think of mostly matte, grungy kind of eyes. So it makes sense that this is mostly a matte palette with a couple shimmers. Shimmers aren't my favorite, but again, I'm so impressed with the mattes that I would recommend this. This is going in my favorites of the year because it's really the palette that I keep wanting to reach into just because of the ease of use. In terms of the brow products, I told you guys I love them. I've already repurchased them. I think that this is going to be a huge hit, especially if these products come to a big box store like Sephora or Ulta or just any more accessible store. Right now, you can only get them on her website. If you're looking for the fluffy brow look, highly recommend the Refi Beauty. Uh, the long Lancome mascara, I'll have to keep trying it. I feel like it didn't give me the volume that I thought. It was more of a lengthening and lifting mascara. So if you want length and you want that lift because of the curved wand, it did a good job at that. It is not a wet formula, so it is not messy at all. Very easy to use, quick throw on and go. So I'll keep trying this out for more natural days. The Vive highlighter, probably one of my least favorite things. It's just not my favorite. I have so many other highlighters that really stand out to me. Not to say this is bad, but it's just something about it mm, I don't know I don't hate it but I don't love it and there's a lot that I love that I think just blend easier have more of that high shine no flaking of glitter so this is just an okay product for me probably my least favorite from her releases most underwhelming product for me today would be the hourglass again I know a lot of people go crazy for it for me it's just okay nothing spectacular again I like more punchy blushes so this blush is a little bit more muted pink so it's not surprising to me. The bronzer is nice, but again, I have so many other bronzers that do the same thing, if not better, and I really wish they would get uh, better with you know, including deeper skin tones. So inclusivity is a big deal, and I just think I'm just not that wild by it. So it's just kind of disappointing overall that they won't expand their shade range, and I don't really see the hype on this product specifically. I love the deep color because I can do the grungy contour lip look. 
So I've already ordered another one. And then the lipsticks, again, phenomenal. I love how creamy they are, how pigmented they are. And they're very special in terms of their tone because they have that grungy undertone. So I already ordered, I think, two more. One of them was out of stock. And then I love the Artist Couture glosses, but they are very thick and they are very pigmented, very much like the ABH glosses. So if you want like a sheer shine, these are not gonna be for you. These are more of like a, almost a full pigment, really high shine kind of vinyl look. So I believe that's everything for today's trying to makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me demo these products and let me know if you've tried any of them down below. Don't forget to check out Haley's Beauty 5 Days of Christmas Sale, 50% off their best sellers. And you saw me demo these products, so top picks for me would be the powder, foundation, primer, and sponge. Those are the ones that I've used and love. So I will link everything down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.